Hey everybody, it's the boy the kid the level loose today, K Brandon here with Fat G, not fat out, but I can keep up with y'all. Uh... Damn, that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus. Everyone else here is like, I didn't even think it. No, I was chill with it, man. I didn't think anything of it. Why, why you gonna... That's big a circle! Yeah. And we're gonna be talking about Doom, Doomsday, the movie of X, Y, and Z's. What? Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> everyone's talking about this new game, Doom, and we've been, people have been playing it for a few months now. And I think it's stupid. Not why? really stupid, but it's just. It's just a kind of pointless game for me. And I don't think it's stupid, and also every game is technically pointless, because you really don't... Like, okay, okay, okay. Except like, Bioshock, because that's art. It's like saying... So like, never mind. A game's not necessarily pointless, but I mean, like, this one's like, all you do is go around and shoot people, fight a bigger box, shoot people, fight a bigger, bigger boss, shoot people. There's, like, no real story. It's just well, really repet- repetitive. Nah, see, that's the thing. Sonic Boom had more story. Shut the fuck up. And you know it's true. That is not true at all. You know what Sonic Boom's story was? There's a lizard that sings. What? <laughs> That's why his name's a Lyric. I, I, they tried to remake Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube, but with Sonic, because they thought that was gonna... No. <laughs> Listen, you know it's true. No. So, Doom has a story, and this is a reboot. It's not a... a but it's called 4 by a lot of people but it's a reboot and like the thing I uh, what I get out of Doom is that it's very straightforward with the whole like you're gonna be killing a bunch of people it establishes that you're a badass off the bat which you know it's like okay so everything makes sense when he's all badass with all these demons though while I'm being killed by the weakest nigga in the game he's a badass established and also, I would like to say that I think him not talking works in this, and there's a lot of games where it's like an iffy thing where, like, if, if he talks or if he doesn't talk. We can talk about that later. Uh, um, Why'd you snap and point at the microphone like it could see you? <laughs> so, um, the original Doom, there wasn't really much given to it either. And you got the story the from playing. Doom, it was like, that was like the first game that was like, kind of like that. It's like all crazy and like but, gory and bloody. Other games weren't like that in the beginning. Yeah, and the th- but like even though it was like that you still got the story and it showed that you can do this game without giving like miles of exposition, you know in between each part. They kept true to that with this. They keep the talking parts short. They keep the cutscenes short like the original. Uh, the action is very much like the original game. You know, just walk and shoot and stuff. And they don't try to say it's anything other than that, which also helps because a lot of games like like uh, Call of Duty games, for example, and I'm, I don't like them, but this is like just a generic, like, you know, overall thing. Yeah, you play Call of Duty like three times a week. What are you talking about? I've watched. Why are you going to lie to these people? <laughs> I'm not lying to nobody. You lie to yourself. So, Call of Duty is basically Doom with less gore. And they fake it by saying... Well, Call of Duty is about, like, war and stuff. Uh, but it's legit, like, you're pretending to be an army guy. This guy is stuck in hell. Like, in the, the Well, this isn't hell. This is Mars. Mars? Really? Yeah, it starts so off Matt on Damon? Mars. <laughs> I'm fucking done. And this game like- makes so much more sense now. <laughs> he's Jason Bourne. <laughs> A.K.A. Mark Wahlberg. He's right. Matt Damon. But here's the thing. It's like, okay... The original game, I think the original game looked better than this one. You even had like the little face on the bottom, you see the health and everything like that. Like, believe it or not, I had the original game too when I was younger. It was oh, crazy. really? Yeah. I got original, the original Well, it was recently. on the computer, it wasn't like actual yeah, yeah. game. But like. That's the only. I don't know if there's a console version, but I did get the game on no! Steam. I got all the games on Steam that I plan on playing. But the original game seemed like a lot better. It was like a little more fun. It was like, I, oh my gosh, I'm just killing stuff right now. You this know one, what? There's so many games. For today's stand, uh, if this is for today's standard, if this game out, came out today as a new game, no one would really like it. I can agree with that. I do have to say that it, on its own, it wouldn't be a good game. Yeah. Or you know what? I don't even know about that. I still think yeah. it would be a better game than a lot of games out there. Because again, yeah. going back to the it saying yeah. it going back to saying what it, like 
again, it's just a gore game where you shoot things and you go through and you have a mission. But since all these games like that today are... But there place. aren't games like that today is what I was like, trying to say. It's like... No, they... Well, they, like Bloodborne... No, there fucking. are, but they try to... Like, Bloodborne, that's discounted. Those are masterpieces because, again, they... But I was saying, like... But, like... Gory games today have more story than this one. This one's just you run around in on Mars, not even in hell now. On Mars. No, you're in Mars in the original too. You start off in Mars. It's a Mars base, and the whole point is that like they're trying to um, open up the gates to hell, and they do, and that's why parts of it happen in hell, and that's why these games are coming out. But you get that the same way in this game that you did. Actually, in the original game, obviously, like a lot of people might have not got that. I can understand that because there wasn't as much ability to do that back then, seamlessly as they do here, where it's just background dialogue. Um, uh, I think this game, which it looks nice, I guess, but it's not like as amazing. I want it to be like a little like. like you were expecting, like, more of the old kind of game feel. Like, oh, it's like this, it's like that, you're running around, look at me. This was just too... It looks like every other game. It looks like Halo, it looks like Call of Duty, it looks like any first-person shooter. Even, like, like uh, now uh, GTA V. Like, it looks like GTA V. It's like, okay, we just add a Coke to any game now, but it's the same game all around. Like, uh, it's not great anymore. I can agree with that. I guess that's why, I, like, I'm more the story guy, you know. Even I, with porn. No, I feel you. I'm very much of a story person too, which is why this game kind of confused me. Because, like, for Dead Space, I love Dead Space, and that game's story is. I don't care what anyone says. Like, that is an amazing story, and I will agree. Three sucked compared to the rest of them. Um, the DLC for three did pull it together a little bit, added a little bit more, but. Uh, it took it away from the horror aspect and became an action game, which a lot of games have been doing. Or they did for this period of time, like uh, Resident Evil 5 took away the horror elements. Even I could say Resident Evil uh, 4 started taking away horror stuff and turning it into more of an action game than a story-based horror game. You know, it's a really good game. Well, what would you call this, actually? Sonic like? Boom. What? So, what would you call this, anyway? Because, like... Doom is usually established, and especially Doom 3. Doom 3's atmosphere definitely establishes that it's a horror game. Would this still be considered a horror game? Or would it be a horror game? Well, the original games were horror games. That was their thing, too. Like, they weren't just first-person shooters. It's a horror game. But you don't get the same scare and stuff that you do. And I, like... Again, I haven't played 1 through and 3. That's just based off of, like, I've seen walkthroughs out of the ass on a lot of games, which I do a lot. So, just clearing this off the bat, these are final, like, I know 100% everything about the game is based off of the walkthroughs and stuff I watched. I haven't played it first person. Like, no, if you watch your walkthrough, wouldn't you know a lot about the game? Yeah, but it's still, like, you're watching someone else play and, like... Like, one thing that happens for me is, like, if someone's playing a horror game and they scream during a jump scare, even though I might not think it's scary, their scream might scare, like, it influences things. The person playing might influence a certain view on it. Yes, I guess. But if I play it first person, it's different. Like, when I watched uh, Bash play Doom, or Dead Space, which is, like, the thing that made me definitely buy it, um, it was different. It was like not really scary, but it's also because he was a comedy guy, so he made it funny and stuff. But when I played it on my own on the computer, like just alone, it was scary as shit. I guess. So it's not like 100% like, hey, this is this is the end all be all. Like I know what it is. It's just what I've seen and stuff. And again, like Doom Three definitely looked a lot scarier. And I don't think Donnie agrees with you. Donnie, give us your input on this game. No! Oh, well, okay, never mind then. But. Oh. Yeah. I, haven't, like, I haven't really seen all the other like, Doom games and stuff like that. You know, I'm not like a hardcore gamer. With a lot of things, you know. But. This game just doesn't please me as. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba. It, it. 
it pleases me a lot. I could say that, you know what, maybe that's the reason why it also works good with me. Because I haven't played the original Dooms. So it's like, this is my first Doom. But I know the premise of Doom. So when I play this, it's like it comes no. to bases. Like, this is it. Honey, stop unplugging. You want it to work? It has to be plugged in. Boy. <laughs> so he's having a little problem right now. No. No. Okay. Yes. Well, she don't get it because it won't work. I feel like they could have done other things with the game. Maybe add a little more of a story, explain more things, make the guy talk, see how it can work, you know? No. You know, I can see what else they did with this that I can see, like... No! One of my favorite games is Bioshock. No! And that, like, if you want to talk about story, and that's a game you really should play, because that game has story for days. Yeah. It, was, it was one of those first games that established that video games can be taken as art. Um, and did it perfectly. Um... One of the big parts about that is not just playing the game, but also exploration and stuff. In this, there's a lot of like exploration, there's a lot of things where like, when you get something new or something, you read it, and it, um, it gives you more information about the thing, and you get things from reading in the game and stuff. Get to I read? Can, what game would you want to read in? Man, I don't well, like to read in. In, uh, in Bioshock, it was audio tapes and stuff. In this one, it's reading, but the thing is, it's reading because it's like your HUD. So it's like the data file of the item. You're pulling it up like if you were pulling it up in real life. Like this. Like this. That, that's a grenade. This, see, it's your HUD. It's still your screen. Like it's your visor. You go through and you learn about things as if it were a computer. Like and everything this. pauses. Even time. And space. <laughs> yeah. And that's one of those things where, like, I'm a bastard about that. Because, like... You know what bastard means, right? Yes. So you have no father about this? Yes. Okay. I have no father in general. <laughs> We've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> so I can be a bastard about anything. But, um... Bad, bad. But it, it's like, um... I guess it all depends on the game, too. Because, like, some games I'll be like, you know what, I wish that it was just a real game. Or, like, if it was real, like, you can't pause during it. Yeah. But then there's other games where I'm like, I really wish it would pause the screen because I'm tired of dying. Like, Dark Souls. That's some shit where you can't pause the screen and do shit. But, uh... They're also games, like... It's one of those things that I count as like a fallback, like for Dead Space when you pause. Does it? What? I'm, I haven't played Dead Space. You know me. No, the I know. The game that I have played, played is yeah. Dead Space has an actual pause because I was thinking about like the map and stuff when you pull it up. The game doesn't pause, but you do have a pause button, and that's one of my like in horror games when I get too freaked out. Pause button is where it's at. Like an enemy's right up in my face. I'm just like, pause, okay, I need to relax. Pick up the little, little figure again. What the fuck is that shit? Uh, you collect those and you get unlockable suits for multiplayer, I'm guessing, because I thought it was for regular playing. The multiplayer? How, how is yeah. this multiplayer? See, that's one thing I didn't... Like... Well, shit. <laughs> from what I've seen and stuff, like, or like what I've um, got from this, I can't feel a multiplayer for this game. Yeah. Like, that feels too out of range. This game is such a solo thing. It's like, yo, you're playing by yourself, for yourself, to win. Yeah. Just... You know, maybe that's the other thing that pulls it a lot. Like, it, it, it establishes a goal. You want to get... You want to do the goal. These bad guys are in your way. You kill them. And when you beat it, it gives you that satisfaction that makes you want to keep going through and going, hey... Not everyone, obviously, because again, like you like story and stuff, so it's like it's not enough satisfaction. But I can see for a lot of people how it would be enough satisfaction because it's like I'm kicking ass right now and doing what I need to to get to my goal. I'm making my way downtown, walking fast. Something else. Gonna hold on. Da 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 da. Da 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 da.
<laughs> I was like, that was too much. Yeah, that was way too much. <laughs> so yeah, jump way too far, man. Just like me, bro. Anyway. I think the room is... Alright, there's nothing, there's nothing else I can really say about Doom. Uh, yeah, same. Uh, uh what the f- I'm, I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> I'm just gonna act like that's how it was supposed to happen. <laughs> Cause he left. What do you think CJ would say about Doom? CJ is, you know, you, you'll see him eventually. Yeah. But he We try to record before with him. It's not great. Yeah. But he'd probably be like, Doom is such a, like, an advanced game for this time. Look at it. It's amazing. It takes yeah. all this... Uh, that's one thing that you can... Oh, sorry. I'll let you... Yeah. No, no, no. Hey. I was going to say that. No, you that's go, one thing you can... You're doing CJ perfectly, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be a character. Um, that's one thing I do have to say real quick, is that graphics should not be your, like, determination of a game. And I know that CJ pulls graphics a lot. Has a... This game's bomb. And... 75% of the reason is because the graphics are dope. Really? Yeah. Because then again, Sonic Boom looked great. Had a lot of glitches and stuff, but it was visually really nice. You know what? I do have to agree with that. I cannot lie. I can hate a game and not lie. You know what? I do want to play it, though, because I feel like it's one of those games where, like, shit. But they already patched up all the, like, cool glitches. Mm-hmm. Like, what is it? Uh, Uncharted, which is a solid game. I played bits and pieces of all three of them. And I do want to definitely get that collection set for the PS4 to play through. But that's one of those games where, like, it is hilarious for some reason. Like, there's just so much cheese in that goes on in that game. And, like, it's it's one of those bootleg games. Like, a game that's, like, has a lot of bootleg parts, but it's so good that you keep playing. Like, it, it carries itself. And it also has a good story, too, but... I, I, in the demo that was at Target, I think. Yeah. They um. There was this whole part was like walking across a fucking like beam, to uh uh in a house that's on fire, and like all the shit that happens while this house it's like so bootleg, like uh what is it Deus Machina, where like God comes in and causes things to be okay, like you just magically are able to do things because the story says to. Like you can. That's why he said Deus Ant Machina. <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. How do you die like that? Like, this game. Plus, the dying is so weird. Like, I, I don't know. But how do people like this game so much? Like, it's just really hard. You know, like, the other thing is. Also, we're playing on the hardest difficulty. But I think the other thing is, like, that it's one of those rage things that, like, fuels you to go, like, I'm gonna kick that nigga's ass. And then I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe it goes back to like the thing. Like maybe I'm not like I don't play games much. I'm not much of a gamer. And I feel like a lot of games today are just like for people who have played games for years. True. Or like you know like like they, Dark Souls. Yeah. Like these games. Like you can if you're like a new person playing the game, you start off with the kids' games. You start off and you move up and you move up. Or if you, even if you're a little kid, you kind of like learn how to play games pretty quickly. So you just play games and stuff like that. How do you hit it? Oh, right, yeah. I'll let you go again. But it's like, you learn how to play games, it just become natural with games. Me, I'm already older now, I, I can't like, get skill from playing games unless I just devote my life to playing games, but games like this are just hard. For pe- just games like this are just for people who play games for years already, yeah. and who constantly play games. True. Like when um, Assassin's Creed comes out, everyone plays that game. Everyone knows how to. I, I, I get behind. I, like I just start playing. That's that a game. game I can't fuck with because I didn't like. That actually is a very standalone game. I mean, nowadays it's probably not because after Assassin's Creed, it incorp like because of that game, it revolutionized like a bunch of like playing mechanics and stuff. Or even if it didn't revolution, it brought a lot of them to the field. Like people would actually see like what uh, more independent games were doing. So, everyone started trying to do, like, these mechanics where you could be, like, wall climbing and all that. Like, all those mechanics. Yeah. But, that I didn't play from the get-go. Because it didn't, like, intrigue me as much. That's a game I like watching a walkthrough for. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, a walkthrough where, like, they collect all the items and they tell the story. Because I love the story for Assassin's Creed. I can say that. Playing it... 
is a lot harder for me. I don't have the same, like, I want to finish this game mentality. But, like, was it hard for you to, like, play? Was it hard for you to get? It was also hard for me to play. Like, that was one of those games where, like, I could not get the c- controls, and it could just be me, but then again, like, like, I play games for a bit. I'm not, like, all, like, I, I didn't play games forever. It actually, I came into the game of game. Actually, you know what? I was, like, four or five when I had a Game Boy, and I played Mario Land all the time, and, like, Tetris and some spy game. So I've actually been... But I haven't been this kind of game for... This is more of a recent thing. Mm-hmm. And even this, like, console-wise, like, I didn't get my first console, like, my own personal first console. Uh, actually, gave me the Xbox. Yeah. But the only game I had for that was... Did the demo... Did I have the demo? No, you didn't have the demo then. But you did give me Need for Speed. Two underground two, and that was a racing game. Yeah. So that's not even the same thing. But I played a lot of uh, PC games, but that's like not controller. Which for a bit of time I didn't even know that you could do controller for PC games, and I got so used to the keyboard and stuff that the controller was like useless. <laughs> but then I got uh, Xbox 360 in like 2010, I think, maybe 2011, and that was my first. Console that was like Are that your phone? Solid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wait. Thank you. <laughs> but, um, that's when I started getting into it, but I guess because I played the other games and stuff, it wasn't as hard. But Assassin's Creed, I can't no. fuck with that on any system. Really? Yeah. No. Like, that's weird. No. I want to. No. Anyway, like I want to play it though, yeah. because like again I like the story. It's one of those things where like I want to go and find the things out. I want to go and do that. Plus, when they introduce Plague Doctor, I'm a big fan of Plague Doctors. I like the lore behind them and stuff. And uh, Brotherhood, and I think too maybe you can one of your costumes is Plague Doctor. Um, little things like that actually really get me too. Like I like. Uh, costume choice and stuff that like <laughs> I like to accessorize <laughs> I really I do that, that's all it is <laughs> but I like fucking I like um that's weird like I do but maybe it's like t- like certain games like that you just can't get into like maybe it's not good at Assassin's Creed yeah you know but like me I used to have a 64, right? Yeah. My game on that oh. was Super Smash Brothers. I was really good at it, right? Yeah. But I can't now get... How come you rubbish at Mortal Kombat, my nigga? Huh? How come you rubbish at Mortal Kombat, my nigga? Can I play Mortal Kombat? I know. Like, and Mortal Kombat, and then the new game, too, is really weird. I'm not really good at like, these, like... Like, I don't know. It's, That's one of those games, actually. Mortal Kombat, like... I always start off the same. I button mash the shit out of things. And then I learn through button mashing. And then every so often I'll start looking at the, like, more recently I'll look at the move list to figure out what my button mashing is doing. Plus, the amount of games I play is very, very low. Like, you, yeah. like, yo, you buy a new, more, uh, new game, you know, like, play it hours and hours and hours, right? Yeah. I don't even have a system at home, so I don't even, like, have time to play. And the times I get to play, it's like usually when I'm around you or like other people who are playing games at the time. I'm just not, I'm not I don't have that login time. If I get like Mortal Kombat, I'd probably be fine at that game because it's just like yeah, a normal fighting game. So if I just had it for like a few weeks, I'd probably be, I'd probably be good at it, you know? Yeah. But like Super Smash Brothers, you know how it's like Melee, Brawl, and then the other one? I am a whore about no. all these other games. And stuff like no. that, right? Even though they're the same game as Actually, Super Smash Brothers 64. Yeah. There's a reason why you're... Melee revolutionized no. the fighting system for Smash Bros. And they, they used it. Why do you say revolutionized like you changed the country and shit? Re- that, when you're talking why do people use those vocabulary words? That's a different thing. 
We'll continue with the game, but huh? Why do people use all the fancy vocabulary words as if it changed lives and shit? Nah, it's just it's video games, man. It's it just keep it simple, my dude. <laughs> shit, like it revolutionized the way that people press buttons and scream at TVs because they died. No. You know what they no. do? Because you will not believe what kind of shit you will say during a certain. Game. It revolutionized from oh man to what the. You, Paul. Yeah. Some nigga named Paul's gonna watch this and be like, "Oh, <laughs> we're gonna lose the one person that watches our videos." But we'll go back to what we were saying, right? Um, what were we saying? Oh yeah, mainly changed up how the fighting system worked and stuff, and then yeah. Brawl tried to change it again, but kept some of the stuff, and then Smash Bros for the Wii U took went back to melee because it was a solid system. All right. So and like that's obvious, you know. But how how come these people, like who played all these games, like kind of just like got it after like the back of their hand, and other people, like well, like me, I can't just. They got to play a lot also, but it's so hard. Like even like I thought it'd be pretty simple, but just playing brawl and melee. Oh, it's crazy! Like just I'm trying to do like the same stuff that I did on that uh, 64, and I can't do them at all. You know. And then people are like, you grab me, push me back, whatever. I played, like, the last person I played, like, Brawl was, was, like, CJ. Like, he's not really like, the last person. Yeah, I know. But, like... Like, if you want to learn to play a game, don't play with him. Not even no learning, I'm just saying, like, or, like just, just playing. He just doesn't let up at all. Even if you're like, hi, I, I was legit made yesterday. I know nothing of this world. I want to play this game. This seems fun. He'll just kill you over and over and over and call you, saying you suck, but... I'm saying, like, <laughs> the game just seems so hard to, like, get, even if you had previous experience with, like, it's like a car, right? Yeah. If you drive Camrys all your life, since 90 to, like, today, and one day, the next year, they come out with a Camry that you're just like, what the fuck, what's wrong with this car? Because, like, that's all you know how to drive, this specific car, and they change it up just a little every year. Why is this car so different from the others? Why is this one so hard? Why can't I just drive this one normal without feeling weird, you know? You know what I mean? That makes sense. Yeah. It's like, I can drive a car, but I know every car is different. But if I drive, like, the same car, why is a one-year different, or it's, like, a few years, change up the whole way a car can drive, you know? It's messing me up a little. Like, in my, my old 4 runner, right? I had an 05, drove the same way. My mom has a Highlander 2015, still smooth, right? But I drove somebody else's uh, Pontiac, right, the other day? Man, that car is so low to the ground, it's crazy. Like, I can't even, I don't feel right, like, you know? And then driving like, I don't know, I've driven a few cars, but then just certain feels of cars just make you feel weird. But I drive the same car all the time. How am I not gonna grasp another car very easily, you know? That's my thing. I can jump, if I jump from Xbox to PS4 with different games, whatever, I understand there's gonna be a hard difference or anything, but. Actually, that's one thing that, but that's like a personal thing. Like me and controllers, like, that's one thing I never got. But I realize like that's a personal thing. Like I can jump from controller to controller very easily because I don't establish them as, or maybe it's because like they're the same on each yeah. one. So it's like mm. controllers. They, controls aren't weird. I mean, they're, they're, they're weird feeling wise, but not button wise. Yeah, that's, I can see. Yeah. So it's like oh, the, the Xbox controller is more rounded and like bigger and like. Oh, fatty. do you know why that's a thing? No. no. Um, what was it? Nintendo, I forget why Nintendo did it. It's, oh no, Nintendo's thing is it's just revolution. Like, it takes the design and takes the best parts of each design and, like, evolves it. So, like, the Nintendo 64 controller. You take the middle part, you take the middle part off, it's your GameCube controller. The Wii Nunchuck is the middle part of the Nintendo 64. Yeah. So they keep reusing the part, so that's their part. No, Xbox no. is made for finding like a lot of uh, arcade adaptations and stuff yeah. that came out came for Xbox. So it was built for was built for um, fighting games. Yeah. Um, PlayStation was more racing games and stuff like that. So 
that's why they have a different feel. No. Do no. Bye. I'm talking about a hand feel. Like, no, that's what I'm saying. That's why they're Bye. like. That's why it has that kind of shape. Because like when you're doing a fighting game, that's more comfortable for a fighting game. Versus a racing game, the Nintendo uh, PlayStation yeah. controller is like that. That makes one sense because you feel like you kind of hold it like a steering wheel. Um, you open the shit. I think you gotta wait, maybe, or press the airlock button. Yeah, turn around. I have to wait till he's done talking. Yeah. Um. But yeah, for example, like, what is it? Because Dom and uh, Lindsay, they're, well, Dom solely Xbox, but Lindsay solely Xbox. So when they play um, Grand Theft Auto and stuff, they don't know the controls or like the buttons. But like, for me, it's like they, they're the same button each time. Yeah, even like when I put in cheese, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, like both controllers and stuff. Yeah. So like when. I think it's because when I see the controller in my head, and I know the both controllers, I see both images like at the same time. So like Y and Triangle show up at the same time. It's so, like. Are you saying you're weird? Yes. So like, uh, how do I get in the car? Instead of saying Triangle, you would say Y, because you don't know the triangle, which I don't think is helpful at all. I think it's better to learn the other one too and understand that they're the same controller. <laughs> it's because people just want to be like part of a clan and not change it up, you know? It's like, I'm a blood, I'm a crip. You guys are both game members <laughs> trying to help each other and not get shot and shit, right? So, why don't you all know, embrace that, man? Did I get any Pokeballs? Yeah. Hey, we're talking about games and brands talking about. Just to go. Oh, yep, I got 15. Oh, thank you, man. This true pigeons. Pigeons. Is that the robot you were talking about? No, no. She's a bitch. She's not a robot. What's the difference? You know what? You have a point in this game, they're both people I want to kill. Um, we'll go talked about game. controllers. Talked about games. We'll yeah. all, we're gonna edit all this out of it. Yeah. Hey, you got my armor. Oh, I found the secret? Oh, the secret? You did? Yeah, I found the secret. You know what? I think that's not a secret. I think that's a light. Oh, okay. Was there an item there, or you just found a spot? There was an item here. Oh, okay. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't see you get the item. So I'm like, did you just like glitch into a wall? It was like this, see? I grabbed it, went up here, went through here, went down here, and then there was like a shield. Oh, like, right over here. Armor, where? Um. Oh yeah, let's go back to, uh, what do you think CJ would say about this game? What game? This game. What game? Doom. I already said what he would say about this game. You said part of it and I cut you off. Oh. Oh, I was pretty much just uh, I, I don't know. You know CJ more often, so. Oh, true. I mean, more, so. He would say this is probably one of the best games in the world, but he would say that because it got a 10. Nah, he forgot Destiny is. No, actually, Overwatch is now. Overwatch? He still likes Destiny. But Overwatch, Overwatch is a cool game, but still, like, I haven't played it enough, so it's, like, still weird for me. Overwatch is the Destiny killer. Overwatch is, uh, Overwatch is like pretty cool, but I don't, like, think, I, don't, I don't know much about it. It's one of those games where I jump on and play for a little bit. It's not one of those games I can get into. One thing I don't like about games and story, like I'm okay with reading if it's in the fucking game. I don't like that I have to go to like five other websites to get the story for your game. Like Overwatch, the story's all on the website. None of it's in the game. Really? Destiny? You get little blips from the items, but like really minimal. But then you go to the website with your little cards that you get, and then you can read them on the on the website or the app you get or something. And that's how you get your story. Like I get you're trying to be immersive, like get you to feel like you're in, just nigga, keep this shit in the game. 
I don't need all that shit outside the game. Like, I don't mind reading, but if it's outside the game, like, you're taking away my time from playing your game to read about it. Why the fuck would I play a game? Also, Destiny isn't even that good. It's really not. It has an okay story. Like, it's nice. It's nice to play through. It's solid, but... The gameplay is on the Doom spectrum of repetitive. You literally do the same thing the entire game. Not just like, you fight the small guys, you fight the medium guy, you fight the boss. Then you fight a lot of them at the same time. Then you fight the small guy, medium boss for a different alien race, but they're all the same. They just have a different weak spot, but they're just the same thing with different skins. <laughs> I feel like any game that TJ really likes is just because he's really good at it because he plays all the same games. Right? What's a game? Um, What's a game? A game is something that you play... I'm gonna break your jaw (laughs) with a game. The game? With the game. Yes. With the game. (laughs) While he's shitting and making a rap. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Oh, look, look, look. I'll kill you. Legend of Zelda. <sighs> Sorry, all game. Cam likes it. Cam is awesome. <laughs> Cam's awesome. I don't care if CJ likes it, but Cam likes it, so it's good. <laughs> um, I didn't say CJ don't like good shit. I just say CJ is just... Okay. The shit that CJ is like doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Yeah. And normally I don't like... I don't know. I'll give it a shot, but it's like in the back of my head, it's already established that it's probably not going to be that good, as he says. Just because you're good at a game doesn't mean that it's a good game. God. The title for this Doom, slightly CJ roast. <laughs> Toothpaste, hair, have an ass nigga. You said roast. It's an opportunity. <laughs> but, um. By the way, I just want to establish, like, for real though, like, anyone who says, like, oh, you mean. I swear to God, I would not give a fuck if he said some shit about me on a video. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, if you can't, I can take it. Okay, if I'm a dish, I can take it. So, CJ, if you want to roast, please do. I want to see you try. <laughs> Ramen hair, have it ass dig it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got aggressive. Oh, who's fucking CJ? <laughs> Oh, he's like that with anime too. Anime is like great. Oh to like my CJ, god! We'll get into it. Yo, like, can you explain to this nigga that if you tell me the whole story, I'm not gonna watch the anime? Like when you tell me One Piece, you tell me a lot, but you still don't tell me enough to make me not want to watch it. This nigga will give me the paragraph, like every. This nigga reads me the script of the anime and describes the scenes. <laughs> like that's what he does for every episode of every anime. Ruby, probably really solid. Hearing about it, aside from CJ, yeah, I'd watch the shit out of it. But he told me every episode, everything that happened. It's like I'm watching the anime through your mouth, nigga. There's no point in me watching it anymore. You okay. ruined it. <laughs> Yo, I talked about like, like, an- I like, if you're watching anime with your friends, right? Are you both just sitting there, staring at the TV so intensely that when there's like, when like that thirty second between. This episode ending and the other episode beginning, you talk about it? No, you don't do that. You go like, yo, did you see that? That's awesome. Yo, CJ will make you shit, sit down, shut up, and watch the anime like he's the boss in this place. And it's your house too. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just trying to chill, have fun watching this show. You know? And he'd be like, yo, you missed that. That was very important. I'm like, how do you know? You watched it already? How are you watching this again and not making jokes about it? If you know what's about to come up. Yeah, like... Yeah, I think. You, have to think, you know what? I think it's also a black thing. Cause a like, black thing? Like, like, if you take this nigga to a movie, you know what type of nigga he is. Versus if I go to the movie with my mom and you, yeah. we'd be talking through that movie. Yeah. Like, when I saw uh, Twilight uh, Breaking Dawn Part 2, yeah. Randy, when I was uh, still friends with Randy... Yeah. He, he he was he was a little little um little skeptical about it. We also were sitting right behind a row of other black folk. <laughs> we were roasted the shit out of that movie. And he's like, you know what, that wasn't that bad of a movie. 
you know, it changes. It changes the thing. But, um. What was the movie that we saw in theater? It was, uh, fucking. We seen a few movies, but, like, I think we went with your mom that time, right? Was it one of the Avenger movies? Yeah, I think so. Was it the first Avenger? No, it wasn't the first Was Avenger. it? Yeah, I think it, it was. It was Avengers 2. Are you sure? Yeah, it was Age of Ultron. We didn't see Age of Ultron together. We didn't? I did watch that with my mom, though. No, I watched that with you. Maybe I watched it twice. Oh, we did. I think it was our first Avengers movie because we went to with your mom, too. Yeah. And Yeah, I think it was. Yo, we were sat down, we were talking, and we were making jokes and everything, and we were even in the same row. Like, it was like the, the three rows on the side, yeah. and you sat in the row with you and your sister and everything, and I was like, right behind you, I just kept talking to you and making jokes. It was fun. But how can you just be like, now nah, we gotta watch this. And t- that was funny. Let's make a joke about it. Laugh. Like, Look at one I wouldn't right? do that shit in front of my mom because my mom would fucking be like, Smack shut the fuck up. Yeah, because like when me and my mom watched um, Full Metal Alchemist, the yeah. original one, we were on that shit like yeah. the whole time. Every anime we watched, that's how it is. And it's like, oh, if I miss something, I can go back and rewatch it alone. It doesn't really matter. Like that's I like watching t- uh, certain things twice. I can watch it alone. I can watch it with my friends. Like Frasier, I've seen that so many times alone. But I watched it with Brandon. Yo, we be making a whole bunch of different jokes. Like, I'm laughing all my own everything, making my, like, my silly jokes about, like, Frasier and stuff like that. But with Brandon, I'd be like, yo, like, like, so sophisticated ass, but can't look, fucking walk across the street looking at, like, you know, like. <laughs> oh, you know what, one of the I remember one time I talked to CJ about this because I've told him several times about the whole thing, right? Yeah. About a lot. I remember he brought up once that I talked during Neon Genesis, like, I tell too much about Neon Genesis. It's like, no, I don't. There's a difference because Neon Genesis is like, it's one of those animes where like you gotta watch it a couple times. And I've watched it. I watch it several times a year, and it's like you learn more every time you watch it, right? Yeah. So instead of making someone that's watching it brand new, um, watch it 24 times before I can talk with them about it so that they understand. Uh-huh. After the scene happens, be like, just by the way, that sad thing. Also, that nigga's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, That's completely like, different from So this is what happens in episode one Shinji's at a telephone booth With a booty picture of Masato And then Ray's there But it's time travel and we won't get into that like, No you're just like watching You're like yo this is gonna mean a lot in, uh, in a second but yo this one's so funny Watch this watch this watch this Blah! And I'm like yeah yo you Just make simple remarks I don't know like, I don't know if CJ's seen One Piece, but I mean, like, if he sat down with me, like, like One Piece, like, the only thing I describe to Brain about One Piece, I love the anime, it's a great concept, it's about pirates and stuff, and I told him about, because it's been off, like, oh, so yeah, long. Yeah, like, I, so long, and the things I said wasn't, like, changing anything, I said, he earned every single member of that crew, he didn't just, didn't, like, just join them just to join him, no, they earned that respect that he just like and the thing is too the way you tell it too it's not like you told me how exact like you're like he he did this and did that right yeah you still didn't tell me everything it still makes me want to see it actually yeah. happen it's like you already know like we already know who's in the crew yeah so I can tell you like obviously day one yeah but like I'm t- you don't know how they want you don't know what they had to go through you don't even know like what really in it I said he earned the crew he like he was he saved this one he got that one he basically like helped everyone out and they're like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm be part of your crew now right but CJ would be like he saved him by destroying that by killing him smashing him in the face he did a backflip off this wall yeah. 53 seconds into the and like they didn't show it but you could see like he put his dick in his mouth for like 2 seconds and like all oh, that shit like bro, CJ nah Stop. And stop why do you, if you want to watch something with me and you already see it, stop telling me everything before it actually happens in the scene. Yeah. Like, that what? Shit. You, can, you can build it up a little, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, go like, hey, 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 ready, 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 ready. Blam, ha! You know, not. So he's about to go jump off this wall and break this nigga's neck. And again, for two seconds, he stuck a dick in his mouth. But this time it wasn't his dick, it was someone else's off camera. Oh, fucking. Okay, CJ. Maybe there's something wrong with Christians. You know, that's mm-hmm. not like Chris. Okay, CJ's name is Christian, not like Christians as in the religion. There's something wrong with your Jesus, <laughs> motherfuckers. Like for real, you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, yo. I didn't realize that, but 
Yo, if you want to take a look at that, that ain't me. That's y'all. That's y'all pretentiousness. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of great games. A lot of great games. Oh, this is like, so we, we went off topic. Yeah, but that's okay. In, okay, so we're going to finish this off right now. Yeah. In conclusion, Doom, what do you feel about it? Leave it in the comments. Also, Please subscribe. Poon. What do you feel about it? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Splatoon? <laughs> Splatoon? Splatoon? You mean Radio uh, Radio Free Roscoe? Because <laughs> I didn't say the name of the game I wanted to. Radio. There we go. And I don't know what people, people say it's like Just Set Radio. I'm like, I, I see Splatoon. It doesn't look like Just Set Radio. It doesn't. It's the the way the reason people are saying that is because like the fluidness of it. Like the way that it... So it's a smooth game, right? Yeah. So... Chet Set Radio is the only smooth game ever made. No, but it's the also the similarity. The paint the, and spray painting. Well, it's spray painting, but they no, it's the um, rollerblading. Like what? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many games that gotta do that. There are like, no games. Tony uh, Hawk and stuff like that. That's skateboarding. That's not rollerblading. Listen, same thing. No, same. don't fucking try that shit with me, my nigga. Same thing. Can we talk? Longboarders and skateboarders are exactly like. Yeah, I'm not talking about longboarding <laughs> and skateboarding. I'm talking about skateboarding Any and <laughs> rollerblading. Listen, and like stop bikes. Stop around with small wheels like that. Get a bigger car. Get a bigger wheel. Get a car. And get a tricycle. <laughs> get that big wheel. Get the big wheel. Alright, well, this is Fat G, not Fat Albert. And Lucid AK, bro. And we out. Peace! Oh wow, Peter Screen was like, fuck that <laughs>